Hi, this is Ira, and this is the course outline. Let me start with the learning objective. The learning objective is to learn the 21st century communication skills needed to thrive in our hyper-connected digital world. I'm going to go over 15 communication skills to master. I won't list all 15 now, but I'll give you some insight. The first one is to focus on intent. It would help if we had a clear idea of your intent. We're going to talk about the focus of transparency and honesty. We're going to talk about some active listening skills and some persuasive skills. We'll go over each one in detail. I'm also going to talk about five skill groupings. They are perception, processing, encoding, decoding, and encoding, noise reduction, and feedback. We're also going to talk about four different communication levels. Level one is interpersonal communication. That's only your thoughts, what you are thinking and feeling. Level two is interpersonal communication. Interpersonal com communication is very specific. It's only when two people, you and one other person, are engaged in the communication and no one can overhear the communication. It's totally private. For example, you're driving in a car and talking to somebody, your spouse or a friend, parent or child, or you're on a telephone conversation with somebody. This is important because only the two of you can hear any of the communication. Now the next level up is team communication. Team communication is actually anything more than two people. As soon as you get three people, you start getting into team communication. And we'll talk about in detail what that means. And then finally, we're going to talk about public communication. It's one way. Public communication is asynchronous. There's no expectation of any feedback for the other parties. I will discuss the three different communication models so that we can learn to use them to improve our communication. I present the models as an evolution so I can show you how we got here. I'll start with the linear model, first described by Aristotle and then enhanced by Claude Shannon. I'll then discuss the iterative model of how two people interact. This model was developed in the 60s and 70s. And then we're going to talk about my addition to the communication model, something I call the fractal model of communication. Using the fractal model, you can see the communication that happens over time. It's iteration, one on top of the other. And that's where we get fractals. The excellent example of a fractal is the Mandelbrot set. It uses the equation, the function of z equals z squared plus c. This is important so we can go into detail exploring this equation. I've come up with a fractal communication formula where the function of the communication is to achieve a goal. Communication efficiency is measured by how each iteration moves closer or further to the goal. I also clearly define the technical aspects of communication. The technical component is whether one can actually hear the person, the semantic component is understanding the other person, and noise is what prevents good communication.